Um, the Democrats had basically, um, the Democrat, the Democratic House staffers had drafted a letter asking senators to convict Trump for our sake and for the sake of the country. Basically, they're impeaching him because of that insurrection. But um, a group of Democratic House staffers are drafting what they hope will be a bipartisan message to the Senate about the upcoming impeachment trial, urging senators to take the trauma that their aides experienced during the violent insurrection in the Capitol on January 6th seriously, a staffer told CNN. We, um, we are staff who work for members of the U.S. House of Representatives, and it, and where it, where it is our honor and privilege to serve our country and our fellow Americans. But on January 6, 2021, our workplace was attacked by a violent mob trying to stop the Electoral College vote count that drafted a letter read. In an effort to make the letter appeal to Republican staffers as well, the drafters organized the signatures of staffers that can sign on with just their email addresses leaving, leaving off the offices of the members of Congress that they work for. The, the letter squarely blames former former squatter Donald Trump for inciting the attack, which he uh, and he had just stood back and just watched it. As employees with the U.S. House of Representatives, we don't have a vote on whether to convict um, Donald Trump for his role in inciting the violent attack at the Capitol, but our senators do, and for our sake and the sake of the country, we ask that they vote to convict the former squatter and bar him from ever holding office again, the letter states. A staffer familiar with the drafting of the letter told CNN that signatures are still being collected and when the letter will be sent to and when the letter will be sent to the Senate is undetermined, which means they don't have an official date for when it is to be sent. Um, but no one should have to experience something like this in their place of work, the staffer told CNN. And I think it's important to tell this part of the story because it's not just members of Congress who come to work at the Capitol every day, and it's not just staffers who work at the Capitol who were traumatized by what happened. And I think that is a piece of it. The trauma is there and the trauma is very real. And any time that new pieces of information come out, you know, you're kind of re-traumatized. The letter, which started um, circulating Wednesday morning, already had more than 100 signatures as of Wednesday night. But staffers involved with the letter are keeping the timetable of when it will be sent to the Senate um, open to ensure that anyone who wants to add their name is able to. And the staffer from with the drafting told CNN. Um, it's taken off, the staffer said, when asked to give a ballpark estimate of how many signatures would end up on the letter. But yeah.